The city wants to bridge its digital divide. That covers neighborhoods where there is no internet access and residents who can't afford to connect. And this should go well beyond just adding some free Wi-Fi hotspots around town. More than just your typical public Wi-Fi, we want to make sure people are connected in their homes, at their kitchen table, where they do their homework, where they do their work. Um, and we want to make sure that some level of that is uh, free and or affordable for all. But does free equal safe? Remember in late 2019, the city of New Orleans was the victim of a ransomware attack that cost millions to fix. Bob Oster runs a local IT service business and is a cybersecurity expert. If you're providing free internet to, the, to folks and they start doing online billing, they start doing online shopping, all of a sudden they're susceptible to everything and they're going to do that, right? That's the point. Oster notes that the city's request for proposals calls for the vendor to maintain security and privacy for residents. The cost of this major infrastructure upgrade is pegged at 25 to $50 million. How much does the city plan to spend? We think this can be done at no cost to the city. Any free service out there, it's not free. So who's going to pay for free Wi-Fi in New Orleans? Federal grant dollars from the Smart Cities Initiative are available, but where the company that builds this infrastructure makes its money is from data, which is typically sold to advertisers. They're going to have data on you know, how people travel, how people move about the city, how people uh, behave online on a very generic and general basis. And you might not realize that you're already sharing a lot of this information when you carry your cell phone with you or when you search or shop online. But what about Big Brother? The fear that the government could spy on you through free Wi-Fi. The bad news is, is that um, the government can already do that, right? Uh, One concern Oster brings up is the amount of time it will take to install all of this infrastructure. Too long and you're talking about technology that could be outdated by that time and instead of a smart city, you have one that's behind the time and that's why officials say they want to get this rolling as soon as possible.